Hello, this is Julie. Today I'm going to show you how to save a design from Silhouette Studio Designer Edition version 2.0 or 1.9 as an SVG. Now this procedure will not work with newer versions of the Silhouette Studio software, but it does work with this version that I got with my Cameo version 2.0. Before you try this, be sure to go to Help About Silhouette Studio Designer Edition to check to see which version you have. Mine is Silhouette Studio Designer Edition Release 2.0.0D. So if you have that version, this is how you save files from Silhouette Studio that you've purchased or added to Silhouette Studio as an SVG to use in other software that uses SVG files. I'm going to go to File and My Library. So you can see I have purchased a lot of files, a lot of designs, 8,000, over 8,000 designs and I can use those in any of my um, cutter software that will use an SVG by selecting a design, double clicking it and adding it to my screen. I want to check to see what size this is because not all cutter software will import SVG files at the same size as they appear in Silhouette Studio. So I write down the width 15.950 inches so that I can resize in other software that I plan to use. To save this file as an SVG is quick and simple. I go to File, Save As, and then I type in this box the name of the file. At the end of the file name I add a period and I type SVG. And that's very important otherwise it will be saved as a studio file as entered in the bottom box. But when I type in .svg and I click on OK it will be saved. Be sure to note which location on your computer where you're saving it. I'm saving mine to the desktop. So I click OK and um, it'll be saved on my desktop. That's all there is to it. So to open this file I can uh, open my other software. This is Make the Cut. I can click on Import SVG, find my file on my desktop, double click it, and it will come right in to make the cut in the correct size so I don't have to resize this. If I would like to um, add it to my Puzzle software, I open my Puzzle software, go to File, Import SVG, double click on the file name, and it comes in. I do have to resize it here, so I type C, click on Width, and type in the width of 15.95 and Enter. And the design is the correct size now that I can cut in this software. If I want to cut it to my Cricut Explore, I go to my Cricut Design Space, go to Upload Image, Vector Upload, Browse to find my file, double click on the file name, Save Image, and then I can add it. Insert Image here. Once it's added, I do need to resize by going up to Edit and changing the width to 15.95 and Enter. And I have the correct size here. 
because several of these pieces have score lines on them, I do need to ungroup, then uh, reselect the lines that include score lines, right click and attach, that way when the design goes to cut, the score lines will cut with the shape. Going back to Silhouette Studio, if you try this procedure using a, a more recent version of Silhouette Studio, you will get an invalid SVG. It won't work in other software, so you have to make sure that you're using Silhouette Studio Designer Edition 2.0 or 1.9. Now if you're using a newer edition and you'd like to be able to go back to an older version of the software, you'll first have to remove your newer software. Just go to your start menu and your control panel and you're going to um, go to programs and uninstall a program. You'll select Silhouette Studio and uninstall it. After it is uninstalled, then you will be able to install the older version first. You would select the file you want to uninstall and then click on uninstall. Now this is in uh, Windows 7. It will be a little bit different in XP or Vista or Windows 8. Once you've uninstalled Silhouette Studio, you can then install the older version. And there are techniques for installing the newer version also. But I won't go over that in this video. I have on my computer I have both Silhouette 3.043 and I have Silhouette 2.0. If I'm going to save as SVG I have to make sure that I'm using 2.0 or 1.9 in order to save as SVG. So I hope this has answered some of your questions about how do you use your studio files with other cutters. Thanks for watching.